Welcome back to another cooking video. Today I'm going to show you the continuation of my last lobster video where I took the tail end of a lobster and made it in sashimi. Today I'm taking the front end of that same lobster and I'm going to make it into a delicious lobster miso soup. Now, for those of you that didn't see the first video, this uh, lobster was caught here locally. It's a Spanish lobster. It was caught 200 kilometers that way in a place called Tarifa. It was hand caught. Now, it's a beautiful specimen. It will make some delicious soup. Now, um, for those of you that didn't see the first video, I'm gonna show the killing of the lobster again, just so you don't miss out. And at the end of this video, I'll link to the original video so you can go check it out. Let's get straight to this, let's go. Okay, the first step is to take Larry the lobster here and freeze him for 15 minutes. This will put him into a sleep coma state, so that when you kill him, it's a little bit less cruel. Now here underneath the shell is the heart. So you want to slice it like this. This will cut the heart in half and kill it. And then do the same movement on the other side. And there you go. That this separates the tail of the lobster easily. Now this lobster tail I'm going to use in a different preparation, making sashimi in a different video in the description. But I'm going to use the front half here to make lobster miso soup. Now you're going to want to rip off the claws from the body like this. And do that same thing to the other claw. And then you're going to want to rip off all the legs off the body. So just take your time to do that. There we go. And we're going to cook these a little bit now. And here I'm just going to cut the head in two and then cut the halves into quarters. And then you're going to want to cut the little antenna off and reserve these body parts for later. Now the claws and the legs, you're going to want to place them into boiling water. And here I'm just going to par cook them quickly. The legs for two minutes and the claws for three to four minutes. Now, if you're going to make the soup directly after killing the lobster, you won't need to par cook them. You can just do the cooking at the end later when I add them back in. But since I'm going to be doing a sashimi preparation with the tail, I'm quickly going to do this so I can preserve this for a little bit while I make that. Okay, so here I'm placing them into ice cold water, the legs after two minutes, because they're a bit thinner, and the claws about three to four minutes after you put them in the ice cold water. Okay. Now preparing the broth for my soup. I'm going to take some kombu here and I'm going to cut a piece off that's about the size of your hand. Now kombu is dried kelp. I'm going to place this into a pot and add 1.5 liters of water. And you're going to let this soak for about 30 minutes. That should soften the kombu and flavor the water a little bit. Once that's happened, then you're going to place it on the fire and just start to heat it up. And as soon as it comes to the boil, you want to remove the kombu. So keep an eye on that. And while that's happening, I'm going to prepare some katsubushi. So katsubushi is dried bonito, which has been preserved. And here you can get this in flakes already prepared, but preparing yourself like this is much more fragrant and much more delicious. So I'm just gonna take the time to slice a couple of little slices like this. And then here is my freshly made katsubushi flakes. Okay, great. Now the kombu is boiling, so I'm gonna remove the kombu and then turn the heat off. Very important, you do not wanna boil the katsubushi. And once it cools down just a little bit, wait 30 seconds and add a handful, a good handful of katsubushi flakes and leave that for 10 minutes to soak in. Once the katsubushi bits have sunk to the bottom, it should take about 10 minutes, you're gonna wanna strain the liquid. For that, you take a sieve and a cheesecloth and just pour the liquid through and this will catch any little fine bits of katsubushi and you'll end up with a super clear, delicious dashi stock. This will be the base of your soup. Now. Take this dash stock, place it into a pot, and again, turn the fire on and start to bring it to a boil. Before it starts to boil, you're gonna to wanna to add your lobster face pieces, and you're gonna to wanna to cook it for 20 minutes. As there's little bits of foam developing, you wanna scoop them out because this adds bitterness to your stock and you don't want that. Okay, so if you've parboiled your lobster claws like I did at the start of this video, then you just add them for two minutes at the end of the cooking process. But if you haven't parboiled them, you can add them and cook them in this broth itself. And you're gonna to wanna to cook the legs for four minutes and the claws for six minutes. But since I've parboiled them, I'm just gonna add them in at the end for two minutes, just to heat up again and cook slightly. And once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to turn the heat off because we're gonna add miso paste and you cannot be cooking miso paste. Okay, so I've turned the fire off right now and I'm going to scoop out all these lobster bits and claws and legs. Okay, great. Now you're gonna need three tablespoons of white miso paste. Now you don't wanna add it directly into your soup because it will leave lumps. So you just add a little bit of the broth into a separate bowl and just soften it up a little bit with a whisk. 
And once it's a little bit more soft and liquidy, you can add it into the rest of your lobster soup. Now remember the fire's off because you do not want to be cooking miso paste. Okay, so just mix this in gently and then leave it for about a minute just to soak together and then you're going to want to strain this. So you can strain it just in a sieve itself or if you want a super silky smooth soup, you can just strain it in a cheesecloth and a sieve like this. Okay, once it's strained, you're gonna to wanna to add it back into the pot just to keep its heat. And in the meantime, cut some spring onions into a very, very thin slice like this, okay? And add this back into your soup. Perfect, and give it a little swirl. All right, now for the crab meat. For the legs, you're just gonna to wanna to cut it like this and then roll it out with a rolling pin. This just squeezes the meat out. This is a great way to remove your meat. And you can do this to the rest of your legs to get all the meat you can out of it. Now for the claws, I like to prepare the claw by breaking the bottom half of the claw and then just removing these little bits here. And this way, whoever's eating the soup can access the meat easily and just take it out. But you still have the theater of having a whole claw. Okay, so here I'm just gonna add some scoops of soup or ladles into my bowl. And then I'm gonna add my opened lobster claw and a piece of the face and then a little bit more lobster meat. Great. Okay, so there we go. Lobster miso soup done. Enjoy. So there we go. Now you know how to make a delicious lobster soup and I urge you to check out the first video where I show you how to make lobster sashimi. You can check that out right here and that will use the tail end of this lobster. And also I made another lobster sushi video right here. So check these two out and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.